Let's go to Fallon. Holy fuck. I just didn't even get everything. Yeah, I assume that was going to happen. But 100 it is. The, sec the next mission sequence, okay. Looking forward to it, visors. Let's go. Talk to the quarians. Okay, let's explore these first. Ma'at system. Yeah, I assumed it was going to be very small. Amnut! It's an enormous hydrogen helium giant with a mass approximately nine times that of Jupiter, nearly two, 2900 times that of Earth. Despite the massive pressure, its core has failed to ignite in a fusion reaction, qualifying it as a failed star. It is believed to have captured all other planet-sized bodies in the solar system as moons or impact events leading to its name the Butter. Not in intimidated by this phenomenon, the Geth have colonized many of Armut's moons and skimmed hydrogen from Armut's upper atmosphere. Travel laboratory, Armut is in Geth space. All civilian travel is prohibited. No! The Reapers. Seems like there is nothing here. Really, it said the radius was those. Well, maybe it's only the 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 rock, the core of the planet, not the gaseous thing. Charum. Once a starship refueling station for the Quarian, Sharum has expanded under Geth rule. Thousands of orbital platforms surround the planet and its many moons, refining helium into helium-3. A vast Geth fleet travels between Sharum and Hailstrom, preventing all but the most stealthy of spy drones from discovering any information out it. Currently, estimates place the Geth fleet's number. Holy shit! Well, the Geth fleet could very well be the most massive of all of them. Between 5,000 and 10,000 ships with unknown levels of armament. Holy crap. They got a lot of power. Okay, most. Intelligence estimates state that approaching Charum is tantamount to suicide. Also, civilian traffic is prohibited. Population: 250 to 500,000 platforms. Colony occupied in 1895. Hell's Hive. <laughs> okay. There is nothing in the Quarian system? <laughs> that was the original Quarian system? I... No, it's impossible. Formerly a Quarian colony, Hailstrom was established to observe the phenomena of Dolan, the system's parent star. Dolan appeared to be unstable, with a high possibility of erupting prematurely into a red giant. Hailstrom was lost to a guest in 18... 96. Soon after, all communications from the planet and its attendant space station ceased. The Geth have shown no signs of treating Doran as a threat over the past three centuries. Beyond establishing several space stations near it, Dolan's magnetic eruptions and solar output were well 
most nearby communications and it is unclear how the guests have compensated. Today, spy probes and scans indicate extensive orbital construction around Astro, housing thousands of guest class platforms and a known number of guest software mines. It is not known how many guests are on the planet's surface. Spy probes face interference from Dublin. Uh, making remote scanning difficult. Resource estimations based on guest mining, refining and fabricating practices suggest that the planet has at least 20 more years before it is exhausted. Intelligence experts speculate that the guests have not exploited all of their resources because they wish to keep some in reserve for repairs. Haystrom is a guest stronghold. Military spy drones using cutting-edge stealth technology are the only vehicles that have returned from get space unharmed. All civilian traffic is prohibited. Ah, so sentient AI is better than organic skin. Eh? Almost every act, yeah, in production I would agree, yeah. Of course, they, they are hive-minded some degrees, although they do retain some sort of individuality. A dwarf planet Gotha has pressure cocker atmosphere that brings its surface temperature to scorching levels. Carbon dioxide and ethane are plentiful in the planet's hazy atmosphere. There has been some speculation in the mining community as to whether the quarians mined all of the precious metal before they fled the system some three centuries ago. Rumors abound that anyone willing to brave the Geth could find loads of naturally occurring diamonds on Gotha, but this is likely just a starship legend. Gotha is in Geth space, so civilian traffic is prohibited, I guess. But yeah, obviously the fucking warriors want to kill the Geth. It is clear to me. Why else would they enter in force? Again, into the get uh, space. Let's see if there is nothing. Apparently, the get have mined everything out of here. All right. This diplomatic frigate is like no quarrying ship on record. Its hull is relatively low temperature and it appears to be venting heat in a manner similar to that of the Normandy when it comes out of stealth mode. How the quarries develop this high-tech vessel is unknown, but its hailing frequencies are open and welcoming messages are being tight beam to the Normandy. Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again, ah. though I wish it were under better circumstances. You are I hope for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. Oh, okay. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. Okay, tell me more about this, yeah. <laughs> That's a, uh, one way to receive your visitor. Hello, how are you? 17 days ago we started a world with the Geth. Deal with it. Alright. Your home world? You mean Rannoch? Correct, Commander. 300 years ago, we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them, we didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. Well... <laughs> uh, well, I would agree. They were machines, pretty much, yeah. Deactivated... Mm, who knows? Unless all the Geth consciousness was in RAM, I don't think deactivated... Deactivating them was murder. Would have been easier all around if you'd succeeded. Indeed. Our predecessors underestimated the threat. They gave the Geth time to mobilize. Whereas you chose to attack the Geth rather than consider negotiation. But I agree with that man in this instance. 
the geth, at least the geth inside, or the geth that legion represented seemed fairly rational so yeah why not negotiate with them i agree admiral chorus that was a mistake we're correcting our ancestors mistakes in the middle of a galactic invasion this was the most appropriate time of course it was the council was too busy with the reapers to slap sanctions on you for starting another war We'd driven the Geth back to their home system, when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we're... Wait! You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. We need to retreat or we'll lose the live ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got, and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. Okay. I don't understand how this is panning out. Does this mean that the Geth are under Reaper control now? Because if that's the case, then we need to wipe them out quickly. Quickly, quickly. We cannot let them fall. Just like the Rachni would be another debacle. Yeah, the Rachni all over again. Uh, and then push! Push, fucking Quarians. Attack will you got? Yeah, now if they are under Reaper control, that's not good. And when the Geth are weakened, you strike hard. It's a hell of a risk, Commander. But if you can pull it off... Just be ready, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Not care! Bullshit! Reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tally. Admirals, already a team to hit that dreadnought. This is ridiculous! When I met her, she was a child, and now she's an admiral, and I'm still a commander! Admiral. It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Well, let's tell her the truth, why not? I came hoping your fleet would help me retake Earth. Don't worry, we pay our debts. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So but, why help them? Yeah, I did I'm too. an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll help your people win this war, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. Okay. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. She's coming! All right. Priority Geth Dreadnought. Very true, Icerus. They have mostly civilian ships. They're, they're not a, an armada, really. Where is that thing? That, the Geth Dreadnought. Ah, there you go. Perseus Bale. and get the shielding up and everything will be fine we will all live happily ever after okay Heisa it's an ice giant composed primarily of hydrogen and helium uh, 
Scholar that striking aquamarine because of a small concentrations of methane, water ice and ammonia. Its relatively small size is a curiosity to human astronomers who would have expected a larger hydrohelium gas giant to have accreted during the solar system's formation. The quarries have driven the geth away from the planet's helium-3 refueling machinery, but it is clear the geth put up a fight. Wreckage of quarian fighters litters the area, and more than one refueling station appears to have been blown apart by kinetic impacts in a scorched earth tactic. Nice! Atas! Ah, well, I think I'll be taking Edie with me. She seems like a good idea. Take Edie and Tali, if that's the case. Maybe Tali and the Prothean guy as well. Just to see what he has to say. Adas is marginally warmer than Rannoch, despite being further from its sun. Volcanic activity spews methane into Adas' atmosphere. This case retains heat in a greenhouse effect. Historically, the quarians used the geth to mine the planet. When the geth rebelled, the small quarian population on and around areas was quickly overrun. It is clear that the quarian armada has not forgotten or forgiven. The remains of geth space stations littered Aida's orbit, now all shrapnel and fused metal. The Normandy sensor pick up a strange croaking sound, probably some kind of distress call from Get survivors left floating in a space, condemned to the eternal cold, which they cannot feel because they're machines. Okay. Uh, yeah, full tech team, that seems logical in this situation. KD is a low gravity planet. Its size of its size, which proved a significant boon to the early quarian explorers. Even before discovering the Mass Effect technology, it was easy to extract KD's resources. When the quarians made first contact with the citadel species and gained access to ESO profits roads and the orbital stations became, became a beehive of activity. Today, Kaidi's Lagrange points are littered with space junk, including pieces of a Geth orbital station that must have massed at least half a billion tons. Such a station could have generated impressive kinetic barriers, but even these appear to have been insufficient against the Quarian's attack. Well, I think I, I am impressed, to tell you the truth. Fucking impressed by the Quarians. How the f how did they push the get all this way? How did they accomplish that? The Gons Astro Asteroid Belt is home to Eurasia, a rock large enough to qualify as a binary dwarf planet. Its companion, the asteroid Ethiel, is believed to have split off from the main body after an ob oblique, oblique impact. Both were heavily mined early in the age of Quarian space exploration. Curiously, the Geth have built over the old Quarian space stations even though the mined out asteroids have little obvious use. The current theory is that they provide a staging base to exploit other asteroids in the belt. Where is the other one? I guess. Okay, disable the dreadnought. Guess the pre-field and the migrant fleet. Okay. Kamikaze civilian ships. <laughs> no, that won't be good, Bicerus. A flotilla of 50,000 craft holding over 70 million quarians, the migrant fleet is the largest array of spacecraft in vessels in the known galaxy. It is a testament to the Quarians' strategic skill that these numbers have not dropped significantly during recent battles. The fleet is now on the far side of the star from Rannoch. The event to better cloak its movements from the Geth. Do you think that was the tactic to your note? We just read they did kamikaze the fleet to win the system back. <laughs> no! Okay, close to a star, the Normandy scanners can detect a high, an high uncountable number of Geth state satellites that use solar sails to self-correct their position. 
The Geth place the ultra lightweight constructions around the sun to collect energy, arranged in a vast array of net known as the Dyson Bubble. Scattered among them are space stations and servers that draw power from the state tides through wireless energy transfer. Most of the space stations are wreckage now, and no small number of solar sails have also been destroyed. It appears the Aquarius began to destroy them, but were stopped before the attack was complete. Well, because you have only 17 million people, and they need to be housed somewhere, I guess. Let's see if there is anything of value. Okay, then we go to a dreadnought. What? I didn't read Ranok, did I? Holy shit, what did I do? No! What did I do? I said talk, didn't I? Holy crap. <laughs> okay. Uh, power damage. Okay. Power recharge speed. Weapons damage. Power damage. Let's go with the golden one. Power recharge speed. Power recharge speed, yeah. Okay. Fuck me. Okay. M3 Kathana 5 Shimitar The Gral Spike The Eviscerator The Disciple And the Claymore Yeah, let's go with the Claymore Holy crap, that's a huge thing What's the servo motors increase accuracy? Why not? Let's give her the standard equipment of my team. And yeah, I think she's going to be using the shotgun more. Yeah. It has very low accuracy. Well, maybe when they get close. Which is you what usually happens anyway. How the fuck will would tell me? The taser thing, ah, I like to run away. <laughs> How would Tally handle this gun? It was only possible for Grunt last time. And now everyone can do it. That is a little Bullshit if you ask me. Ah. Uh, okay. You used it with great difficulty. <laughs> okay. All right, time to get easy. Something else. Okay, I think it's overload. No point in arguing that. Overload. Overload all the way. I think Mr. Holyo will approve of this. More shield damage. I 
agree with you. I agree with you, Isaros. Defense Matrix seems... Maybe if it was you playing the character. Holy fuck. 73 points. It's going to take a while. Okay. Boost power, recharge speed, shields and health. Seems nice. Defense drone. Deploy this holographic drone to electrocute enemies within its range. Deploy this attack drone to stun targets and draw enemy fire. Well, I think this is better. Compromise synthetics fight for your side. Good as well. Increase recharge speed. Well, what? Hit an enemy with this energy pulse to inflict damage and to steal barrier and shield power. Energy Drain, Sabotage and Combat Drone Yeah, I agree with you Well, Quarry and Machinist, I would say I have 73 points And to... This one, three, six, ten, fifteen, twenty-one Twenty-one means I can level up three to the full thing and put a good portion into one an one another, which I'm guessing is energy drain. I'm going to leave energy drain as the last one. So let's get this one. Increase health. Level 5 sabotage. No, level 5 energy drain, I think it's better. Let's go sabotage all the way and get energy drain to level 5. Increase recharge speed by 40. Increase health and shield bonuses by 20. Speed bonus? What the fuck? Power recharge bonus, okay. Ah. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Increase tech power damage and increase duration. Or weapons damage, tech power, obviously. She's not. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to put a lot of things on. Is recharge speed of drone powers by 50 Okay Okay, let me check something Can I only put one drone out there? Or can I put several drones like a madman? Do you know that, my Zerus? Can I... Can I... Just go crazy. Just one drone. Okay. <laughs> Just one drone. <laughs> yeah, recharge speed is for a second, so. Uh, let's go with this one then. A damage shield dealer, okay. Let's go with combat drone then. Stun targets and draw enemy fire. So I'm guessing. Uh, Increase the, the, the shieldings, I guess. Makes sense. Upgrade. Uh, 
Ah, ok Upgrade the drone shot range attack to heal 25 points of damage across 2 meter radius Upgrade the drone with long range rockets that deal Holy crap Upgrade the drone's electrical pulse to jump and hit traditional targets Okay, I guess it's the top one Exactly, let me go with this one And then, alright, let me, no, let me Holy crap What does this do? Increase damage And shields Okay, let me see this Yeah, you sacrifice a lot of damage But it's not that much shielding anyway And I can spam it every 3 seconds can't I? Or not? Ha! Huh, it... Yeah, every three seconds anyway. It's not a problem. I don't think it will die every three seconds. <laughs> uh, but I think it's better to go with Chain Lightning. I don't know. Okay Hit traditional targets More vulnerable? Ah, okay Then let's go with the rocket Okay, sabotage. Hack synthetics. Increase power duration. Increase damage taken by 30 when enemies weapons over here. What? No, I'm going with the duration. Uh, holy shit. I don't think they will survive 20 seconds Could they possibly survive 20 seconds? Well if they can, they better, I think it's better They last the longest Synthetics explode when destroyed, dealing 542 damage Alright, increase recharge speed It's not that much of a recharge gain Well, this is better, even better Yeah, exactly But if it dies, then it takes a lot of people with it <laughs> Yeah I don't think one second is going to be that important explosion it is. Hack synthetics fighting on your side move, fa move, move faster and do a hundred percent more more damage. <laughs> okay. Increase all tech power damage done to a target by Alright, I think Berserk is the way to go. Yeah. Just go crazy and fight for me. Why not? 
Energy drain. Increase damage by 30 or increase the impact ratio by 100. What does this do exactly? Hit an enemy with this energy pulse to inflict damage and to steal barrier and shift power. But then I guess it's better better to go with impact ratio that way I can steal more from a lot of people rather than I don't like the recharge ones they are marginal marginal gains instead I get a lot of shielding yeah no no okay for next level up. <laughs> Look at that, Didi and, and, and Tali have the same health and the same shielding. <laughs> We're approaching the quarry and home system. ETA to run on five minutes. What have you got from the convoys? Pretty much a big old shit storm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. <laughs> They're already fighting! <laughs> Stealth driving gaze. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. Sounds great for me. You're better. 